Hi everyone, it's Sarah Hamamoto from the Kinesiology Advising Office. Here is a short how-to video on how to change your major or minor to kinesiology and how to declare your concentration. Step one is to visit the registration and records website. I have provided the direct link to this page in the description below. Please scroll down to select the online major minor change form. From here, it will direct you to log in with your CSUF portal credentials and will take you directly to the undergraduate major minor change form. First, please complete all the student information if it's already not populated with your information. Now, if you want to declare the kinesiology major or if you want to declare a concentration, you will select section A, change current major or concentration. Make sure you check the box here. If you're changing majors, you can put your current major, so biology, um, public health, whatever it may be. And then for your new major, you will use a drop down function to select kinesiology. You will do the same thing if you are trying to select a specific concentration to declare. As you can see, they are all listed here. So if you are trying to declare or change your concentration to the strength and conditioning, you'll click here and submit. For those of you who are trying to declare the minor in kinesiology, you will use section C. Click declare a minor. Use the drop down function on the right to declare the kinesiology minor here and submit. The final step for either process is to complete with a student signature. Make sure you check the box and also note the potential fees that come with your change in major, minor, or concentration. If this is the first time you are either declaring or changing your concentration, there is no fee. But for all other changes of majors or minors, there may be a $10 charge added to your CSUF account from the records department. To complete this process, all you need to do is hit submit. All requests will be reviewed within three to five business days and you will get an email whether your request was denied or approved. I hope that this video is helpful for you and if you have any questions, please email us.